15 in the fourth after they scored 71 in the middle two quarters. Um, I, th I think uh, we just stayed with it, and um, I think uh, you know we we had to summon some energy. Fourth game in six nights, we had some lulls in the game, but the guys kept competing, kept fighting, and I thought the defensive effort down the stretch um, was was fantastic. Uh, you know, everybody was doing a great job, but I'll single out you know Dante, uh, J.K., and as always, Draymond. You know. Um, it's just uh, incredible effort and um, great way to, to close out the game. What did you think of a combined 72 for JP and Clay? The way that they can complement each other on the floor and both get to their spots? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're both uh, so explosive and they, they both had big nights uh, scoring. And, uh, you know, the way we started out the game was beautiful. Um, we, we were defending and, um, you know, getting stops and, and just making the simple play, throwing it ahead, and guys were knocking down shots. So it was a, a beautiful start to the game. And and then obviously, um, you know, they came back and, and hit us pretty hard. They they, they played a great uh, middle two quarters. And so we needed, you know, every every one of Clay's and Jordan's points to, to, to be able to come back and win. See, what do you think of Jordan scoring 41 points, committing seven turnovers, and still finishing plus 18? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, what I keep saying is I, I'm so excited about Jordan because he has a, 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 another level he can reach. Uh, there's no question. Um, and and when you think about that, because um, he's been awfully good for a couple of years now, uh, but you think about what that can look like, um, that next level, it's, it's exciting. Um, so that's that's what we talk about every day. We we watch film. We uh, we discuss, you know, what what he can improve on. And uh, he's a great listener. He's uh, he's very coachable, and I'm excited about where he's going to be, you know, down the road. Um, and I'm excited about where he is right now too. Does it scare you a little bit sometimes, though? I've I've uh, I've been. Um, conditioned uh, to deal with craziness over the last uh, eight and a half years um, based on some of the other gentlemen who uh, play on our t on our team. It really felt like Dante was everywhere tonight. What are your expanded thoughts on his performance? Well, number one, he's a winner. I mean, you know, uh, two-time NCAA champion, um, NBA champion with the Bucs, um, competes every second of every play. Um, great rebounder, um, just constantly moving towards the ball, uh, loose balls, long rebounds, plays with so much energy and activity. And then he's fearless. You know, he knocks down that, that big three down the stretch to basically clinch it. Um, he was 0 for 3 from 3 going into that, that, that shot and didn't phase him at all. He just knocked it down and you know, game over. So the guy's a, guy's a winner, plays both ends. You Bye. mentioned... Uh, Jonathan and, and Dante's defense in particular down the stretch. I mean, what have you seen from them in, in building kind of this defensive tandem that has helped the bench, the second unit with, with defense that may not have been there to start the season? Yeah, b both guys uh, pressure the ball. You know, um, J.K. and, and uh, Dante really put a lot of pressure on the ball. And, and um, you know, J.K.'s got such great length and strength and athleticism that um, – as as he goes, it's going to be uh, fun to watch him grow and um, you know learn the tricks of the trade, learn how to avoid fouling. And um, but he's becoming a force defensively, where we can put him on, you know, whether it's Lillard or or Grant or you know Simons, we can put him on, you know, the best players on a team, and and uh, and he can do the job. And same with Dante. So. Um, you know, I, I, what's what's exciting is you know that I think this, the, the team is starting to take shape with guys out, with Wiggs and Steph out. You can kind of see other guys stepping up, and we're winning games, but we're also, I think, setting the table for uh, what's to come when hopefully everybody's healthy. You mentioned kind of Dante being fearless. Um, you like him going for that strip on Lillard? I mean, it kind of turns into the game-winning defensive. Uh, play. Yeah, I mean, um, of course I like it because he, he, you know, he wasn't it wasn't a foul. But um, I think uh, you, you know you you, um, you have to to gauge um, 
you know, your aggressiveness defensively when you're a guy like Dante or JK or Draymond and there's going to be times where you're going to foul and and I have to live with with some of that as long as we're gauging it well and and finding the right balance um then and I'm I'm good with it. Steve, did you know um that Ty had the half court buzzer beater in his repertoire? <laughs> uh you know, we shoot him uh all the time to to uh after practice for for fine money you know when guys are late or whatever and you guys have seen it I think so um Ty's a good shooter so you know you're a good shooter every once in a while that half court shot's going to go in so you just talked about kind of setting the table with guys out right now I mean first four game win streak winning record 19 and 18 what are kind of your overall thoughts to kind of finish the year going into 2023 yeah I just really like the um you know the the fight in our team. You know the, the, this these four games um, coming off that tough trip, and we really needed to feel good about ourselves, feel some confidence, and uh, you know really all four wins required um, a, a, an, an element of of grit. And uh, our fans can feel it. Our fans have been great. Uh, I think they're really enjoying watching this team grow. And. Um, I think they're enjoying watching this team gut it out while while Wiggs and Steph are out, um, and so we're we're coming around. Um, obviously, we're not there yet. We've got to win some road games um, eventually, and and uh, we got to put it together. But we're we're getting better. This uh, this stretch that you've had, where you've had to rely on all of your ancillary players making big contributions, and the team collectively delivering. Considering the preseason incident, what does this stretch and this challenge and your team meeting it do as far as putting that in the rearview mirror? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, we we had a very slow start to the to the season, obviously record wise, um, and uh, it it hasn't felt like we've gained uh, much traction until now, and so it feels like the team's coming together. Um, every team goes through stuff and things happen and, and no matter what happens you have to find a way to uh, to connect and to compete together and that's what I'm seeing happening right now so it's exciting. That, it wasn't a particularly great Kamiga night the first three quarters but you still went to him to close does that kind of speak to I guess his growing trust that even on a night that he wasn't great you still wanted to close? Him? Yeah yeah I mean I, I, uh, I trust him um, you know he's uh, his athleticism, um, the fact that he is, he's really embraced this role um, defensively. Um, there's a reason he's out there. You know we're playing a team with, uh, you know, three really difficult players to to stop with Simons, Lillard, and and Grant, and um, so felt like felt like a good night for J.K. to be out there down the stretch. Thank you. Thank you.